Hello and welcome. This is S tier rank. I'm going to go ahead and hop in on Hogwarts Legacy on PC again. Let's go ahead and load up Robert Juan Smith's adventure. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if we're going to get it today, but I've been really interested in learning how to unlock lives here. the uh, talents system. And there's also, um, see, I still don't have it. So it's got to make progress through the main story. And I do have, you know, this quest as well, but I think I want to change my mind here a little bit and at least do one more main quest to get a little bit further along. Um, so I would love to uh, get the talents unlocked, but I just don't know when they come. Maybe this will be the one. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you and your resourcefulness. He was vague as to details, but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult to find book. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. Of course, Mr. Ollivander. Sounds most up my street. Wonderful. You see, about a century ago, an heirloom Applewood wand with a fairy wing core went missing from this very shop. My great aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw? Like the bird. In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlry. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. We did find a series of statues similar to Jackdaws. I'm certain they're a clue, but I cannot figure out where they lead. Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map he'd stolen from Peeves. As you can imagine, the poltergeist was less than helpful. Surely you could continue searching the Owlery? Oh, one would think. However, the Headmaster does not take kindly to an old wand maker loitering about the place. Can't say I blame him. Also, I have perhaps been looking for too long. I feel a fresh set of eyes, and a bright mind like yours is sure to solve this riddle. Is there anything special about the wand? Oh, yes. It's terribly special. But not in the way you might think. It won't grant special powers to the caster, no. Nothing like that. But it will ease the hearts and minds of the Ollivanders to know of its return. And that power is immeasurable. Why would the thief have taken the wand? I must admit I have no idea. From what I can gather, he fancied himself an adventurer of sorts. Always looking for trouble. In fact, after he went missing, Rumor had it his ghost was seen in Hogsmeade. Never heard much about him after that, but it seems as if his adventurous spirit may have got the better of him. Perhaps he thought that the wand had some special power simply because of its esteemed lineage. Astonishing how misunderstood the art of wand making is. I'll have a look for you. You've certainly given me plenty to go on. Oh, you've brought hope to this old wand maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student. Okay, uh, let's see. Investigate the Owlry. It's just going to be pretty far away. I think it will probably want to fast travel there. Alright, let's see. Huh. I guess it's on the world map, huh? I assume this is its own separate little area, but how do we get over there? I guess it's on the Hogwarts map. It's got to be, right? Okay. Yeah, so it is its own separate place. Um, 
Let's just... Hey, there we go. That one looks pretty close. I'm getting used to the map, but I feel it's still a little bit quirky. I might be remembering with rose tin and glasses, but I feel like Skyrim did a little bit better with uh, fast travel waypoints and stuff. Okay. I think this should be a straight shot. Huh. Um, that's not the direction I thought it would take us. Let's double check it. we have the waypoint set properly. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I think I have it set on something else, but we'll just mess about with that later. We can start hoofing it up the side of this hill. I think I'll go with this jog setting so that if we see anything interesting along the way, we can grab it. I have no idea if I need that moonstone that bad, but if we see an opportunity to grab some, we'll do it. Gotta look out for ingredients and stuff. Oh, got hung up on a rock. Hey, here's some more. Coming home with me, buddy. Hey, there's an owl. Alright, get in my bag. Got plenty wig and weld potions, so that's good. Akio. Nice. Revelio. I bet you there's a uh, treasure chest or two in the area. It's like there's one on the inside. I wonder if there's a fast travel in here too. Bet the there statues is. Mr. Ollivander mentioned must be upstairs amongst the owls. Oh, dark sun hat is a downgrade. At least we'll get the appearance. Hey, bird, what's up? All kinds of owls in here. Ooh. Don't mind me, owls. I'm just here to help a friend. Now, where are those statues? See, can we climb this? Oh, we can. Nice. Oh, I recognize those handles. The summoning charm should do the trick. Hogwarts Owls. School owls and owls owned by students can be found in the Hogwarts Owlery. One is advised to explore carefully, keeping an eye out for owl droppings and regurgitated mouse skeletons. Alright, what do we have? Empty perches. Could be the right size for jackdaws. Or statues of jackdaws well before we do that i want to go up here birds aren't afraid of heights perhaps i should look a bit higher yeah. rebellion oh, looks like some money up here i wonder if we can target this Accio. This'll do nicely. I wondered if that money fell down to the ground. But it did. Good thing you can't target the birds. At least it doesn't look like it. Oops. There we go. Well, I'm about level 13 and a half now. Hey, here goes a flying page. No statues here. Here we go. Revelion. Accio. I'd best keep looking. Ah, here's a welcome surprise. Nothing. No statues here. Okay, let's see how many more we got. I think we got maybe two more at least. Oh, three more. Protego. Oops. Accio. 
I'll take that. Thank you. I best keep looking. Oh. Don't know what he messed out there. All right. Rebellion. How many more we got? Um. Maybe that's everything. Oh, here's something. Map with floating candles. Huh. Well, this is interesting. This looks like it's out in the woods somewhere. Um, maybe the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Accio! <sighs> Nothing. Okay, how do we go down? Okay, there we go. No statues here. This'll do nicely. I'd best keep looking. Here's a welcome surprise. Nothing. Alright, let's see what else we have. I think it might be everything. Okay. So there's a perch here and return the bird sculptures, okay. Many the other statues we got here. Ooh, money, money. Hmm. Okay, we have the statues. Here we go. What's happening? solved my puzzle after all these years well done indeed good news if you've got something to hide you found the perfect spot Richard Jackdaw at your service the Richard Jackdaw so Mr. Ollivander was right he wants his family wand back goodness I'd forgotten about that wand I assure you I don't have it on me I'm almost certain I dropped it the moment I was beheaded in that cave Oh, it was sheer folly to follow that map. What map? Ridiculous, really. Found it on some yellowed old pages Peeves had pilfered. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So, you stole a wand and then followed a map on some pages that you took from Peeves and followed that map to your doom. Odd to hear it all reduced to such absurdity. But yes, why do you care about some old wand? I don't, really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the wand in the cave? Indeed. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? I'd be happy to show you where to find them. I think I can guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Hmm, wonder what that means. Why would you steal Mr. Ollivander's family wand? The family were always going on about how special it was, so I took it. Who could resist? Sadly, it wasn't special enough to save my neck. I fully intended to return it once I learned it was only special for sentimental reasons. But as you can see, I never got the chance. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He's got a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I doubt he even noticed they were gone. If that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, 
My decapitated skeleton, the wand and the pages are yours for the taking. All right. Fuck the ghost. Let's get rid of this uh, marker that I put on Hogwarts. Okay, there we go. Hey, there's a student up in here now. I guess they cleared that out just for the sake of the quest. Um, why aren't we tracking? Do do do. Hmm. Ah, uh, no, it's just being near the edge of the Forbidden Forest, so I guess we just gotta head there. I think it was on the way to Hogsmeade, if I remember right. There it is. Oh, darn it. Hit the wrong button. There we go. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. See, I'm gonna map the next Billy Armis or something. Uh, let's see, where are we at? Yep. I think that'll be good to have. Nope. Oh. There's already somebody over here. Great spine, Doug Bog. Hey, pick on something else. Expelling Dagon! No! Not Expelling Dagon! Hey, that's mine! Nope, I'm down. Poachers. A mere irritant. You'll have to fight eventually. Stick to him like a penny whip! Coaching days are over. Yeah, totally like murdered them. <laughs> but I gotta admit, I kind of finished the job on the animal there, so I'm not sure I'm much better. Okay. There's a couple more of them up here. It looks like there's a treasure too. Sold some baby mistress the other day. Small fortune. You always get more when you're small. See if we can sneak up. Expelliarmus. Akia. Leviosa. Incendio. Protego. Admirable trick. Expelliarmus. Nothing more than luck. Akio. Expelliarmus. Leviosa. Someone get me down! You're putting me to sleep. You don't to get that claw? 
Come on, Andy. Nice. nice. Something with Accio, I think. Okay. Revelio. Let's see. I know they had some treasure out here. Oh, concentration one. Let's see. Is my Accio still stuck on something? I'm hearing like a breathing sound. It's really weird. I wonder if it's coming from over at this cave. We'll get back to the jackdaw quest here in a moment. I should investigate. Yeah, let's do it. Rebellion. This looks creepy. Let's do it though. Why not? Oh, another one of those creepy masks. And it's an upgrade too, so we should definitely equip it. Revelio. Plus seven. Looks like everything else is a downgrade, so let's just do a change appearance. And they'll be able to see the face a little bit. And I think that this is just downgrades. Yeah, fortunately. Okay. Go ahead and clear out our collections to you. Ah, this guy, Poacher Animagus. That's the one that we took on earlier. Some poachers in Rookwood's organization have become Animagi, who can transform into the same animal, a ravenous wolf. And in their Animagus form, they must be weakened and forced back into human form before they can be properly defeated. The transformation spell, however, can catch them off guard and revert them in an instant, interrupting their reductor curse with a banishing charm will cause them to lose control of their spell cast and hit one of their own gang. This is that thing I helped kill great spined Dugbog. These camouflaged beasts will often blend in with the environment to avoid detection until their prey is close enough to attack. Vilio can help you find them when exploring their habitats. While recovering from their attack lunge, they're vulnerable to force spells that will flip or their force their bodies will flip or force their bodies in various directions. And its mouth is wide open, Livia, so it can be used on its fleshy tongue to hoist it into the air. It's pretty radical. Uh, let's see. Increase damage of all damage shells. And let's see, what are we going to cover here? An Alry, our Hogwarts owls. And here is Doug Bog Tongue. Used for focus push it. All right. Let's see, did we clear one of these? Oh, we did. Defeat 10 dark wizards. Get a dragon hide protector's cloak. Nice. Oh, cool. Officer's uniform, finally, for uh, completing five dueling feats. Well, sweet. Let's see if we got some of that clothing as an upgrade or not. Um, actually, I think it was just an appearance, so... Yeah. We'll go back to the surface. Good. 
guess we'll start heading back to where we're supposed to meet Richard Jackdaw. Hearing the creepy breathing. As good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Only a Ravenclaw would travel this far in pursuit of knowledge. Well said. Now, where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Hmm. Okay. Almost sounds like Intramuros. Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. So this is the true forbidden forest part. Okay. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. Mm hmm. I think it might be French. Not positive, though. Nothing to do now but keep going. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe Greek? Bound to be some spiders or something out here. Rebellion. Hey, there's two guys that we could probably take out. What level are they? Oh shoot, they're level 20s. I'll leave them alone for now. They might be tough. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Uh oh, looks like we could be coming up on some wildlife. Could do that one charm to make myself invisible, but kind of having fun, feeling exposed out here and ready for an attack. Harry Potter can do it, I can do it, right? <laughs> Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. Ah, uh, that's that'd be a direct comment about uh, Harry Potter's Patronus use here. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Whisper the password at. There we go. Intramuros. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Ooh. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. <laughs> Okay, we gotta get this guy with expelling on us or something. Incendio. 
also. Let me also. Incendio. Here we go. Right in the face. No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Doris led me. And this guy is a straight up murderer, man. He's like, they won't be reporting back. Because <laughs> they're dead. <laughs> Oh, uh, Jack Dawes team. I wonder how big this place is. Revelio. Come on, what are these things? I wonder if this is his body. Got some loot on him. Gotta take it. Accio. Okay, what do we have here? This almost These looks like rooms must have something to do with opening this door. There we go. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. Rebellion. Hmm. Looks like we have some spiders that we're about to fight. I wonder if any of my spells will be through this. Oh. Lots of spiders. Accio. Potato. Levioso. Incendio. Oh, shoot. Incendio. Oh, can they burrow? That's pretty cool. Spider fangs. Nice. Creepy hissing noise. <laughs> okay, looks like there's maybe two ways I can go this way or the other. I feel like maybe the other way might lead to a treasure or something, so let's go up this way first. And the other way is the path to the main objective, so let's start out this way. Revelio. Oh, little spiders. We'll just have to take them all out. I'm not gonna touch those. Ugh. Accio. Incendio. Potato. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Oh, you got me with a burrowing. Tricky, tricky. Levioso. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Potato. Incendio. Incendio. Accio. <laughs> Easy old Expelliarmus song. <laughs> that was tough. Oh, got some awards to get. Let's see. R rewards. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Spider Slayer armor. Nice.
It looks like there's a treasure over here too. I bet it's some sort of clothes. Oops. It's a heavy chest. Ornate two-tone gloves. Let's check that out. And I might apply that appearance on this one. Spider Slayer armor. Heck yeah, let's do that for a little bit. It's gonna look like something out of Dark Souls. Plus 12 on offense. Dang. Well, we still have eight slots open too, so if I absolutely have to destroy something, I could. Oh, this is gonna be funny. Revelio. Just want to do one more before we left that area. Oh, there is something else back here. I had a feeling there may have been something. I'm glad I did that. Okay. Looks like nothing else. That's a decent challenge. I need to remember to use my cabbages too, because I haven't really been doing that. We also have this uh, Hinturus potion as well. So I need to take advantage of these items. Maybe the next fight with the spider will do so. Hey, something back here. Revelio. If I could summon that platform to me, I could likely get on it. Hmm. Ah, uh, more spiders over this way. Come on, spiders. I know you want to fight. Here we go. <laughs> the chomping cabbage did its trick. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. Okay, what do we have here? Okay. Um Ah, clever. Hmm, <coughs> excuse me. Let's see, what do we have here? Revelio. Oh. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Nothing. Okay. What are these things? Looks like something an in ingredient perhaps. Oh, didn't he? Okay. Guess things that are yellow or ingredients. I don't think I had paid attention to that before. All right. Yeah. Feeding the enemy with Petrificus Totalis. Do I actually have that? Sync up undetected to an enemy and press. Uh, square. Okay. I don't know if that's going to be possible for these guys. Oh, have I been blinded or something? There we go. For the boss, you best not miss. Dumb spiders. So can I. Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere. Ah. Uh. Here we go. We'll have to do a repair on it. 
Look like it's not a cross wall. Rebellion. Hey, here's something. Money. Oh, I see some little spiders too. Must zap all the spiders. Okay. Let's see. Two dead spiders. I wonder if someone else is here too. Another human. Okay. Let's check up here. This looks like it could lead to something. Yep. Looks like a chest. An untouched chest. Tarotor wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. We also don't know when he died either, bro. He did say to listen for a... Watch out for a breeze, though, so maybe he did make it further. It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Hmm. It's like two, three pass. Interesting. Let's start out with this one, I guess. Then we'll go to the others. Black what a headless gloves. skeleton in sight. Hmm. But I may as well help myself to this. Hmm. This looks like it may not go to the main objective. I bet that other one in the middle does, though. Okay. Incendio. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Oh. Incendio. Oh boy. Accio. Levioso. Okay. Lots of little fights. Oh. There's some more hatchlings. Oh. Not hatchlings. Just hit him with the low orbit ion cannon there. Accio. Incendio. Oh, nice. It's pretty cool, but also very cool. <laughs> That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Hmm. Let's check this out. Um, could be he just didn't have enough equipment slots, and we only got room for two more things. Incendio! Oh, let's go through. Protego. Accio. Revelio. Hmm. I guess it's not gonna let us go through that way. We gotta get back over here to the platforms, I suppose. Excuse me. Accio. Oh yeah. Hit a flaming spider to blow it up. Incendio. Potato. Stupid. Uh. Incendio. 
incendio. La reunión. Stupid one. Expelliarmus. Accio. Incendio. Cudega. Stupid one. La reunión. Expelliarmus. Okay, well, I'm taking out a couple of them. Incendio. There we go. I got the dueling feet. Nice. Cool. Guess I better use a wig and weld. Hey, another challenge. Here we go. A spider slayer helmet. Yeah. We're gonna put that on right away. Oh. Maybe it's not an appearance, but a uh an actual thing, let's see. Or maybe it didn't look the way I thought it would. Um, is it neckwear? No. Yeah, these are all glasses. Weird. Um. Oh. Wait, hold on. Maybe it's headwear. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Gonna be a night with a scarf here for a little while. It'll be fun. Rebellion. Okay, I don't think I'm missing anything else. Just gonna need to make our way over to this treasure chest. Hopefully eight billion spiders don't rain down from the sky. An untouched chest. Teradol wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Yeah, I think we've established that. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. Hmm. Cave is getting a little bit more complex. Um, so we could head to the right or to the left. I'm going to go to the left first. Nope. Oh, is this a one way? No, I think we can climb back up that. There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. Ravelli. More oh, spiders. More fighting. These can't be what beheaded with the jack. Protego. Stupid. Incendio. Accio. Oops. Levioso. Oh, wow, you got me there. Got a blast. All right, we gotta use Protego nine times. Stupid time. Need a couple more Protegas. Protega! Stupid one! Incendio! Oh, miss it. Stupid one! Okay, just one more. Incendio! Here we go. Protego! Now we just need to get one more Protega. Incendio. 
There we go. Kabooey. Holy moly. Uh oh. I'll take out the little guys first. These guys can't be Protego, they're dodge. Okay. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Oh. Incendio. Thornback matriarchs. Ooh. I hope I can get one open in the air. No, nope, it doesn't work. I wonder if I can Expelliarmus them or something. Shoot, at this rate, I'm wondering if there's an infinite amount of monsters that are coming out and I have to... Uh, maybe I could use a Chinese cabbage against them too. That could be pretty hilarious. Cabbages are a big help. <laughs> Here we go. I can only imagine how the spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. All right, nice. So let's see. I wonder if this breeze is coming off of the uh, waterfall here. Let me run back up here too and see if there's another path. It looks like maybe not, but I don't want to lose track of a treasure. That's quite a battle. Revelio. Ah, oh, yeah, here's a couple treasures. What a stunt to miss these. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. The clockwork fedora. Let's get that on. Ah, it takes level 15. Of course, you must be high level to wield a fedora. It's pretty cool, man. Uh, let's see. We need to take a ride over on platform. Revelio. But I don't see it. Maybe I have to go over this way to find it. Hmm. A little bit of a puzzle, I suppose. Oh. There's even one way over here. Cruising along. Okay, well, we're making the money. Um, I guess we'll take the ride over that way. There should be another one. Ah, okay. So you gotta go just a certain distance. Clever. Okay. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? All right. Well, gear slots are full. Um, that means we should probably see what we can take care of. I really don't want to have to go all the way back out of this place and back in. So let's see if there's anything we can destroy. Nandi, 200. 60, 60, 
Nandi, so this one is a downgrade to Sage Embellished Gloves. And what do I currently have equipped? Ornate Two-Tone Gloves. Okay. Oh, I see the blue outline now. So I guess if I got to destroy anything, these are worth 60. Um, let me see what else we got here. Nandi, Nandi, Nandi. Oh, the headwear is expensive. What about the facewear? 90, 60, 60. Looks like 60 maybe among the lowest of the things that I have currently. I'll go ahead and destroy maybe two, th two things. Okay. I guess let's start with the handwear. What can we destroy for 60? Okay, um... Protego. Golden Snitch Scarf. Okay. Let's check out that upgrade. Ah, oh, plus one. I'll take it. And the scarfs are worth a lot, 150. Wow. Almost three times as much as those gloves I just destroyed. All right, I think that clears out this area. And now I just really need to head back to that bridge where we just fought the giant spiders. And we'll be on our way. The spider fight was pretty fun. They're tough. Oh, in their chest. An untouched chest. Tarotol wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. I need to look around for the symbol. Hmm. They're on a timer too. Wonder if I didn't get it fast enough. Uh, let's see. Assuming that there's those three, so that first one may be the one that I need to focus on. I could probably zap them from a good distance too, like. There we go. Beautiful. Looks like there was somebody standing or something standing at the end of the bridge too. I wonder if this is going to be a duel. Yeah, there's definitely something down there. Hmm. Ah, oh, possibly some sentinels. Must be getting closer to Jack Daw's remains and those pages. Yep. This is totally it. I wonder if I should use um, my potion here. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Ah, oh, shame. Those splinters must be what's left of Ollivander's wand. At least I can take the pages. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Okay, here comes our Rebellion. fight. Go ahead and take one out and run off the map. Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Oh. Accio. Levioso. Incendio. Expelliarmus. 
Okay, so probably this doesn't look too bad. Ten more can hit once or twice. There's those three in the back, they, they might be tough. some ancient power in here in a second. And that breeze is what the jump was referring to. And that was the breeze that took it off his head. I really don't think I have a spell to help me with this. Um, let's look real quick. Yeah, I don't have a spell that's gonna really help in this fight. I think I'm just gonna have to keep zapping it over and over until I get ancient power built up or something. And this has me a little bit of time while they, you know, get their weapon back, but not much. There we go. That could have saved some time. Oh, I threw out a cabbage. Whoops. <laughs> what? That's unnerving. What's happening? Okay, I guess we have another pincy memory or something. Rebellion. Let's make sure I didn't miss a treasure chest. Okay, I don't think I did. I've seen this before. Gringotts and the restricted section. Where am I? Oh no, the room's starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? Oh, nice. I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. Um. Oh, there we go. So, see, I don't know how I'm gonna go anywhere. What is this place? This looks like another fight. Okay. These guys are from the memories. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? to see traces of ancient magic. Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not 
squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Your connection to ancient magic has unlocked talents. You'll receive one talent point each time you increase your wizarding level. You have new talent points to spend in the talents menu in your info guide. Alright, sweet. You've earned talent points, starting at level 5. You may spend these talent points as you wish to enhance your spells, increase your combat powers, stealth, and more. Choose wisely. Talent points may only be spent once, so the number of talents you acquire will be limited. Return here often to see what new and powerful talents await you. So let's see, we've got 20, 36, 40, 48. Um, so I wonder what the max level in this game is, because it would be really cool if uh, you could get these maxed out, but I don't know if you can. Um, but I guess let's exit out of here and then we'll check out the talents menu. Revelio. Doesn't look like there's any treasures or anything in here. found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Probably something evil. What are you up to now? Okay, so we can fast travel to this area now. That's good. I'm just curious to see where this is coming out. Revelio. Oh, here's something. Oh, it's on the eyeball chest. So let's put disillusionment. Um, how about right here? <laughs> there we go. Rebellion. Or some back somewhere back at Hogwarts, I think. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Okay, gear slots are full, so. How about we teleport Hogsmeade and we'll teleport back to the map chamber after we sell a bunch of our stuff and then we'll um, come back and get that gear. Then we'll check out the talents menu. Might end the stream by that point. That, could, that might be a great pause point. I'm not sure what I want to get. get I have the, pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Okay, will do. Let's see, I think that tomes and scrolls places over here. Yeah. Hello there, come on in. Plenty to look at. Let's see if we've got any clothes that we need to switch out to first. Okay, I think we already have the best glove equipped. Let's make sure we have the best headwear too.
Okay, that fedora, we'll have to get it when we level up. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's go ahead and start selling a bunch of stuff. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Bet we got close to a thousand um, worth of stuff here. So let's see. We started off at around 1900. We'll go ahead and sell this too. Okay, I guess we made about 1700 or so. It's a pretty good haul. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Okay. I think I'm going to switch to something that we can at least see my head because as much fun as it is wearing the night's clothes, it'll be nicer to be able to see ourselves a little bit here. Oops, I guess we got to do that on the headwear. Oh, I unapplied the invisibility. There we go. And let's see. Oh, that's kind of cool. 100 green corduroy. corduroy. I do like a solid pattern robe a lot though, too. Dragon hide protectors. Oh, that looks cool. We'll go with it. And, um, okay, I think appearance wise, that's probably plenty. We'll keep a scarf on, too, I think. Alright, um,. Let's go back to that other area before we forget about it, and we'll get whatever treasures are in that immediate spot. I think it's called the map room or something like that. Secret rooms, map chamber. There we go. Okay. Once we're there, we'll run upstairs, grab that first treasure chest, and I think there may have been two or three more in the area, so we'll get them as well. I've always said that. Thank you, Nick Ignatia. Okay. Revelio. Ah, an upgrade. Good. Sheepskin winter hat. Curious what these uh, blue things are. Hmm. Almost look like frogs. Need a level more down here. Thinking we won't be able to make it very far. Otherwise, ah, there's one of these chests. There's got to be a key some somewhere nearby. Revelio. Oh, here's the key. Slap it. Here we go. Nice. Let's 
see. Revelio. Let me just keep looking a little bit more. So another lock. Oh, another one. Interesting. Oh, it looks like it went up the stairs. There we go. Urn of Ashes. This particular urn is rumored to have once borne an inscription in Pioneer and Dragon Taming. Should not have started with the Hungarian Horntail. <laughs> There we go. Okay, what else do we have to find? Oh, this actually opens. Um, hmm. Oh, I wonder what this is. Whoa. Incendio Revelio Weird. So I'll walk away. It almost looks like the textures are changing. I have a feeling this is some sort of puzzle. There's a werewolf in here too. Alright, um we'll wait till it wears off and we'll look at it for a minute. Oh. Werewolf Saga Tapestries. Instead of tapestries, tells a tragic tale of a witch bitten by a werewolf. She chose to flee from her home to protect her infant daughter and husband. Rumor has it that her daughter fell asleep to the howl of a wolf for years thereafter. Okay. I feel like there's got to be something here, though. Okay, looks like they kind of took off and might have been some hunting of her, maybe. Hmm. Maybe this is in reverse order. Okay. I wonder if Wingardium Levioso would do something here. Rebellion. Something seems special about it though. Okay. Another werewolf. Okay. Oh. I think this guy just animated. No idea where I'm at. The bell tower. Here's a fast travel. Another lock. Oh, nice to see you, my young friend. Hmm. Explore just a years. little bit more. Three sisters' bells. The three sisters' bells are said to be a tribute to three similarly named beautiful steep ridges that rise majestically over Glen and Argyleshire. It is rumored that one can hear them ring in the Glen way across the Highlands when they are rung in the castle. When they are rung in the castle, locals have been baffled by the mysterious ringing for years. They cannot be with you any longer. Nope. I guess the ghosts are having a Rebellion. romantic dispute. Broken Broom. This Broken Broom belonged to Celine Wartnaby and is rumored to be all that reigns after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm to a fellow 30 years. No one knows if she succeeded. Okay, so we've... Well, actually... Yeah, I think we have been in here before because we saw that squished guy okay yeah yeah we've been here because i remember seeing the uh guards to you here's something Revelio. Incendio. 
Nice. Okay. Let's see. Kind of like to go back down in here for a minute. Revelio. Interesting. Let's let's go up though first. I don't think I've been up this way. Oh, one of those eyeball things. <laughs> Give me your money. Oh, I swear I thought I saw a page somewhere. Maybe not. Well, this is really cool. this way. Oh, a lock on one of the chests. Like that may be one of the first I've seen. Interesting. Wonder how much longer until I get a little more. Supposed to return this. Hmm. Wonder if that's going to take Wingardium Leviosa to get that to work. Identified neck item. <laughs> we'll try that out. <laughs> Sounds dangerous. Whoa. This is teleport me somewhere. That's funny. How many of these are there? There's just the two frogs, I think. There's not a door out Rebellion. this way either. Well, that's hilarious. Let's try again. It's kind of like a disgusting port key. Um. <laughs> All right. Let's try going down. like a big bell can go two different spots here. I did see I thought I saw another bell up here somewhere. Um I think that I did drop that one down. Maybe we'll come solve this sometime later after it resets. I need to come back for the Alomora thing anyways. There's another door over here. Ah, and a cupboard. Let's see if we can reunite the key with it. I'll be ready to check out my talents here in just a moment. Just kind of having a blast and doing some exploration here. Oh, we've seen one of these before. I think it's probably one of those puzzles that you have to do with Lumos, where you nod a butterfly with something. Yep. Let's uh, give that a shot. Lumos. Okay, we'll 
we'll go ahead and run up there and take care of this one. There we go. I think we came from that door. This one is locked. And there's a dragon thing over there that we could light later on. Uh, uh, let's see. I'm not sure where that one is. And two different paths. Looks like one out this way. On oh, the history of magic room. Rebellion. I don't know if I've been in here yet. Ah, another lock. Drats. Hey, there's a Merlin. And I see a butterfly over there. History Magic Window is a set of stained glass windows, features Merlin, the four Hogwarts founders, and various other witches and wizards of the ages. Alright, so. Let's see. So there's this area further down. And. Another way, let's see what's over here to the left first. Then we'll check out our talents. Unless I get into something really fascinating here. Ah, oh, this leads out to the courtyard. Okay. Um, but perhaps this is a good spot because we've done a lot of meandering. Revelio. So. Okay. Let's check out our talents. Spells. Casting Incendio unleashes a ring of flames around you. Enemies near a target summoned by Accio are also pulled to you. Enemies near a target levitated by Levioso are also levitated. Confringo impacts produce fiery bolts that seek enemy targets. Casting the Pulso releases an additional blast directly around you. Defendo casts a slice through impacted enemies to strike additional talents. Uh, Bombarda causes an explosive blast with a massive area effect. A descendo slam creates some damaging shockwave around your target. Striking an enemy frozen by Glacius blast damaging shards towards the target. Uh, enemy struck with the transformation spell transform into explosive objects. Wow. Alright, Dark Arts. Stupefy has the same effect as a curse on enemies. Cursed enemies take increased damage. Well, that might be nice. Dealing damage to a cursed target inflicts damage to all cursed targets. Spelliarmus has the same effect as a curse on enemies. Cursed enemies take increased damage. Flipendo has the same effect as a curse on enemies. Cursed enemies take increased damage. Cursed effect remains on an enemy for a longer period of time. Resto momentum has the same effect as a curse on enemies. Striking an enemy cursed by Crucio and releases a fragile that curses a nearby enemy. Enemy under your control of Imperio curses other targets with each successful strike. Feeding a cursed enemy restores some of your health. Killing an enemy with a Vada Kedavra kills all cursed enemies. So you can really power up your combat with cursing, it sounds like. A lot of swear words are coming. Ancient Magic Throw catches and throws disarmed enemy weapons. New spell set is added. Hold R2 and tap direction to swap. Oh yeah, we're going to get that. Um, in fact, let's just go ahead and unlock that. That's a must. Okay. Wigan Weld heals you to greater effect. New spell set is added. And holding down dodge allows you to vanish quickly and reappear nearby. Successfully, Successful Protego blocks will contribute to the Ancient Magic Meter. Perfect Protego blocks contribute even more. 
basic cast, impacts reduce spell cooldowns. New spell set is added. Okay. Revilio increase range. Basic cast impacts on airborne enemies contribute more to ancient magic. Blocking a spell with perfect Protego will do what? Send two projectiles back at enemies. Successfully evading an unblockable attack with dodge contributes to the ancient magic meter. Enemy struck with stupefy remains stunned for a longer period of time. Wigan Weld heals you to a greater effect. Stupefy deals direct damage on impact. Perfect Protego releases a damaging blast that breaks enemy shields. Okay, what about stealth? Enemy's ability to detect you is reduced. Allows you to sprint while using disillusionment. Enemy's ability to detect you is reduced. Petrificus Totalis emanates an area effect that can impact nearby enemies. Rumor requirement. A Jurious Potion makes you invulnerable and deflects projectile attacks back to enemies. Invisibility Potion's undetectable effect lasts for a longer period of time. For each Chinese chomping cabbage thrown, a second Ch Chinese chomping cabbage is generated and leased at no cost. Image duration and the incapacitating effect of mandrakes are increased. Maximum Potion causes attacks to have additional increased damage and break enemy shields. Range and damage of the potion effect are greatly increased. Duration of the focus potion effect will be extended when any spell from the spell set is cast during its use. Venomous tentacula attacks deal additional damage and break shields. Wow, this is a lot. Um, I kind of like the idea of this one. Like any of these sound pretty good. I think having this talent may be nice because it's going to throw some of them off. We still have nine points. I think I'd like to get down to maybe only three to five hanging out. Um, I kind of like the idea of comboing my Protego with other things to, to magic throw, catches and throws, disarmed weapons. Yeah, this sounds good. And then I think back to Dark Arts, there was something that has to do with Protego. Spilling Armus, Stupefy, yes. Because if I could Stupefy them after a Protego that also has a boost, that would be cool. Okay. Now for stealth, I think having at least this ability to be detected on Revelia or uh, Disillusionment would be nice. Okay. How about room of requirement? I didn't see a hard need for much of any of these. Um, I mean, maybe we can get an offense thing here just to have something. Yeah, I think I'm going to get maybe two more and we'll hold on to these other points. Um, this sounds pretty good too in combo with the other things. I think I'll go ahead and get that because if I can get multiple in the air, pull them towards me and use Incendio, I mean, I won't have to worry about cooldown as much. So, okay. <laughs> as we get to higher levels. Let's see, 16, 16, where we're at on all this. Um, oh, let me click core. Okay, 16 looks like where we got to get to. So by that time, we'll have three points and probably throw, you know, one or two into each of those. Um, so, okay. That's feeling pretty good. Let's check out our gear, make sure we're on the latest and greatest. And... Unidentified neck on him. Take us through a requirement to reveal its qualities. Ah, must be getting close to unlocking that if I'm picking stuff up like that. It's a bummer I can't check it out now though. Oh, nice. We get the fedora on now. And we'll just keep the fedora on for now, I guess. It'll be kind of funny. Go around tipping our hat and stuff. 
my my witches, my wizards. All right, plus three. This duelist attire, and it looks like all of that. We don't have new challenges. Let's see, why is the talent thing showing? I guess it's just showing because I have points left to spend, but I don't want to do that right now. There's an ancient book, floating candles, and oh, I think these have little quest markers on it, so that's cool. Leech juice. Used for maximum potion and thunder brew. Okay. And let's clear out our collection so I read it. Thornback Hatchling. Thornback Scurrier. Use fire attacks to take them out. And Flippendo will rip them out of the ground. Oh, that's cool. And then the Matriarch. Uh, rares up, ripping it downward to Sindo, we'll catch it off guard. Nice. And this is a new one, Pinsy Protector. I think it those are the three big ones at the end. Hitting with a powerful attack after it's been disarmed will drop it to its knee, making it momentarily vulnerable. Ah, okay. I should have read that while I was fighting them. That would have given me some good hints. Dragon Hide for the previous defenders. Okay. Got a couple others to look at. Cabinets. Pleasant cozy chair. It comes in different styles. Looks like we got two more. History magic windows. The three sisters bells. Very red while these, I believe. Yeah. Okay, one last one. Leech juice, spider fangs. That's it. Okay. Um, got a new assignment. Acquire and use a focus potion, acquire maximum and endurance potions, and use them simultaneously. Hmm, interesting. I didn't think about combining potions for a more powerful effect. That's really interesting. Let's go ahead and roll credits and say thanks for watching. It's been S here, Inc. You can follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube, and I will have a upload on YouTube soon. Thanks, and have a good day.